Hey Columbia, today we talked about Laurel Birch and Laurel Birch is one of the artists who are setting who perseveres uh, and persevere means they continue working despite some difficulties um, and like we saw in class she was born with a rare bone disease that caused her bones to be very fragile and break very easily and she suffered a number of fractures in her lifetime which is a very which is very painful but yet she worked through it and I think that's the most important part to remember is that despite the difficulty she faced she kept creating so today uh, we're going to create some Laurel Birch inspired cats of our own and we're gonna be using shapes and lines to create these cats and we're gonna get started so we're gonna begin by drawing a letter U and you want it to be big, a big letter U. Just like always, I'm using a Sharpie, but please use a pencil, that way in case you make a mistake, you can erase it. At the top of each side of our letter U, we're gonna draw a triangle shape, but not connect it on the bottom. It also looks like an upside down V. We're gonna connect these two points with a curved line. So a line that goes slightly up. In the middle of the cat's face, we're going to draw a rectangle. Okay. Um, starting from each corner of the top of our rectangle, we're going to be drawing a rainbow shape. And that rainbow is going to start at the corner and go to the side of the face. We're going to repeat that, but we're going to go a little bit further down our rectangle. From the bottom of our rectangle, we are going to add a triangle, but we're going to use this line for the base of our triangle, so you're going to just draw a letter V, and that creates the nose. To create the mouth, you can think about it as either drawing a smile or a letter J and a backwards J, it kind of just goes down and around. Okay. On each side of the face, we're going to draw three whiskers. You can draw more if you'd like, but these are just straight lines, and lines are one of our elements of art. We've used curved lines and straight lines in this. Now we're going to look at the eyes. And the eyes are a really important part. Um, it's probably one of the first things that people look at. It's also a focal point. So to draw the eyes, you can do it a couple ways. If you would like your cat to look like it's sleeping, you simply draw a smile. And you can even add eyelashes. If you like your cat to look like the eyes are open, you're going to begin the same way by drawing a smile, and then you're going to put a rainbow on top. Inside is an oval, and then another oval. We can fill that one in. Add some eyelashes again. Okay, so now I look like I have a winking cat. If you'd like to do that, you're welcome to do that too. Um, it's up to you. From this, from, to create the body, we're going to draw a line going down from each side of the face. We want to make sure that we don't draw it right underneath the chin because that gives it a really skinny neck that doesn't look like it could support the head. So what you're going to do is just going to draw a curved line going down and a curved line going down. The last step is just to add small triangles inside the ears. Okay, the next step we're gonna work on is shading uh, using oil pastels. But that is your demonstration on how to draw your cat. I cannot wait to see how these turn out. And you can always reference your how-to drawing guide that will be on your tables.